All right, it is the season of festivals and events, and it is also the season of heat. The season of heat for sure. They we don't are... always go well together. <laughs> no, because we are going to be human next week, so we have triple digit heat index on Monday. But for that concert, 25,000 people mm -hmm. in one area, we have low humidity, so that's great. Even though it's going to be a little warm, temperatures in the mid upper 80s, it's still going to be a really nice weekend out there uh, ahead. Right now we have some clear skies. We were dealing with one or two random thunderstorms popping up just along that front that pushed through earlier tonight. Now you can see we are drying out and we have no more rain in that forecast all weekend long. But instead, we have that heat, a stretch of sunshine, and we are tracking a heat wave not only across the Midwest, but the majority of the South and uh, Central Plains, Northeast. We're all going to feel this heat next week. Right now, we're at 83 at the airport, 82 in downtown. It takes a little while, especially for pavement in the metro, to cool off, which is why we're at 71, a little bit cooler across the river in Sellersburg, 73 in Seymour, and only one spot. Two spots, Bardstown and Carrollton, you guys are at 69 right now. We are going to be cooling off to the mid to upper 60s overnight. Overall, we're staying nice and mild, pretty quiet setup. Tomorrow morning, it is going to feel comfortable because behind that front, we have low humidity, humidity. So lower dew points is going to make it feel more comfortable out there. Around noon tomorrow for Kentuckiana Pride Festival for that parade, which begins at noon. We're going to be in the mid 80s warming up by the late afternoon. We're going to be at 88 mostly sunny skies. There's a chance we can get to the 90s, but for the most part, most models are really on par with the mid to upper 80s for your Saturday. Now Father's Day grill out maybe lunchtime when we're only in the low 90s is the best bet because 95 is our temperature forecast for 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock Sunday afternoon. We'll start to be a little bit more humid, but we're not going to have triple digit heat index forecast for Father's Day on Sunday. Monday, that's when we're going to start to see that humidity start to increase. I mean, look at the spread. We have five to potentially seven days of mid 90 degree weather in a row, so we're really not going to get a break. You're going to have to wake up really early to feel the coolest weather because we have highs almost near 100 in some spots. So 95 on Sunday, 96 on Monday and Tuesday. Now looking at that humidity tracker, it's going to feel a bit humid, muggy on Monday, so triple digit heat index possible on Monday and then off and on as we head towards next week. I think it's going to stay around that 98 range, but really when it exceeds 100, that's what we're focused on heat safety and being outside for long periods of times kids during summer playing outside I uh, definitely want to check on them as each hour passes especially right at four o'clock heat index 98 to 101 on Monday so the biggest heat is going to be on Monday high of 96 I think the humidity will still be there we're going to have to watch the latest updates of model runs to see if the heat index stays high for the majority of the stretch but I really am thinking Monday is that first day with that humidity and also that lone 20 percent chance of seeing a few showers 88 on Saturday the only day that over the next seven days that we have a high of 88 in the 80s the rest we're stuck with the 90s. It is summertime, but this is above average by about 10 degrees when we're in the mid to upper 90s. And we're not the only ones that are dealing with this. Uh, across the south, northeast, we're all going to feel the heat, Eric. 